true story, and one of those kind of proofs that truth really is stranger than fiction, um, of a young boy who in 1986 in Kandahar um, was uh, with his brother, ended up at a train station, got separated from his brother in the middle of the night, got onto a train because he was looking for somewhere to, to warm up, and the train then pulled away from the station and he couldn't get off it for 1,600 kilometres. At the end of the train journey, which lasted through days and nights, he ended up in Calcutta, where he was unable to speak the language, didn't know how to explain where he had come from, didn't even know the proper name of the place from whence he had come. Ended up effectively being taken to the police and placed in care, and then adopted by foster parents in um, uh, adopted by parents in uh, in Australia, and then raised in Australia, and uh, you know uh, brought up miles and miles away from his home. We then move forward in the film to Dev Patel, who is now the the the, the, the grown up Saru, who, after having a Proustian moment with a sweet uh, Indian food, is suddenly taken back into a reverie about the home that he lost all those years ago, and suddenly becomes completely overwhelmed by a desire to find where he came from and to find the home that he lost all that time back. Hello, I'm Swamina. Uh, hello, I'm John. This is Sue. Mm. Hello there. Hello. Yeah, that's for you. Good on the plane? Yeah, good? <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> right. Sue, this is Mummy, and... M that. So David Wenham and Nicole Kidman as uh, the adoptive parent of Saru, played as a child by Sonny Powell, who is absolutely brilliant. I mean, as a child, the performance of the the the, the young say is, is astonishing. And in fact, it'll be maybe one of the images that you take away from, from the film is, is yeah. that little boy. Yeah, absolutely. And then later on by Dev Patel as the young man who n then becomes completely overwhelmed by this need to find out where he came from, but absolutely unable to do so because the place in which he was picked up by the authorities was so far away from where he came from and there is no record of it that, you know, how does one even begin? And also, should one begin and should one, you know, search for one's roots? I think the thing about this film is, which you've seen as well, um, firstly, it's an extraordinary tale. And I think it's really, really well told. I found it, I didn't know anything about the story when I first started watching it. I know it is a true story. And obviously, I'm. you can find out about the true story if you want to in advance. From my point of view, I didn't know it the first time around. But then I saw it again second time around because I liked it so much. And even knowing exactly how the story pans out, I found it every bit as emotional as I did before. And the, the reasons are threefold. Firstly, the early sections with the young child are really brilliantly done. There's a Spielbergian element to the, the frame of the young boy being lost amidst this sort of landscape of the, the inhospitable rail yards, the water towers, the buildings. I mean, it's a very Spielbergian thing that the child is down here and it's almost like this kind of, you know, strange Blade runner -y landscape in which he's lost. Second thing is, Dev Patel is a fantastically uh, versatile and talented actor and does a really good job, not only of convincing you that he is that same character, but also of convincing you that his conflict about his, uh, his fairly happy home life and his then desire later on, his you know, unstoppable desire to to find his roots, those two things are, you know, that what happens is those two things start to clash and they start to tear him apart. And he does a very, very good job of portraying the pain of being sort of torn apart by it. And the third thing is that the film, which has to deal with complex issues such as people looking things up on Google Earth, which, let's face it, is not cinematic manages to not be the film that you think it might be. I mean, I've heard people talk about it as it was a film about people looking things up on Google Earth, and no, it isn't. It really isn't. What it does is it manages to tell its story, which is necessarily segmented, but tell it in a way which is completely, um, you know, emotionally coherent. And it's a great performance by Dev Patel, uh, Rooney Mara making the best of a, of a role which is essentially sidelined 
as his sort of soulmate who is there to support him. But actually, when when you know things really start to fall apart, has to some extent to to stand to one side. And Nicole Kidman giving, I mean, for my money, one of the best performances she's given in a really really long time, as uh, as Sari's adoptive mother who has her own reasons, her own absolutely strong and you know convictions and reasons for the adoption, but is also sort of torn by the stresses of the circumstance in which she finds herself. And I thought it was a really pro- a properly intelligent performance by Kidman, who managed to convey both pain and much more complicatedly love as a gesture and... You know, there are times when I think Nicole Kidman on on screen has been very, very self-conscious and very, very much, you know, Nicole Kidman. And I thought in this, she lost herself totally in the performance. She became that character. And um, as I said, I've seen it twice. And at both times, I was in floods of tears. And I think it's not just to do with being a, a parent and that thing about, I mean, the cinematic depiction of the child lost in the big world you know, it makes you think of AI. It makes you think of, you know, as I said, the Spielbergian thing. But he looks he looks incredibly lost because yeah. he is so small. I, I mean, he's like five, six years old. Yeah. And it's and it's but it's brilliant, isn't it? I mean, it is absolutely brilliantly done, that stuff. And then it does make sense absolutely when it does with with, with uh, Dev Patel, the absolutely sta- you know, you believe that that is that same character who in his mind keeps being drawn back to this event that happened so far in the past, twenty years ago in the past. And he's and yet still it's there and real for him. Yes. And and I know nobody will, but stay for the titles. Oh yeah, yeah.